Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. It is May 14th, 2012, and I'm recording picking up right where we left off in the last video. Uh, before we begin, uh, another reminder about my Test Driven JavaScript Kickstarter. I'm very excited about this project, and I hope you will take a look at it and back it if it's something you're interested in. I'm hoping it will be useful and valuable to anybody doing JavaScript development in any sort of serious professional capacity. So thanks very much. There is just a f less than a week left now before the project ends. So, when we left off, we were working on modifying application model to store its configuration data in this new user configuration object, which has the ability to save itself to disk. And uh, I say new, but it's really just a modified save file class uh, made more domain specific and more persist to wonderful lol. Uh, <laughs> so, that's what we're working on. Um, so what do we want to do next with that? Well, uh, we've got it migrated over. Oh, I guess yearly spending is next. Okay, so let's just move right along with that. Now, the fact that we're passing this through and returning it like this, that is a sign that maybe we could improve that somehow. Um, maybe we want to just return the entire object. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, there's, there's possibly something that can change there. But I'm not going to deal with that today. I think the next time I come back into this class, uh, it will be an opportunity to look at that. It's as good as it was before. Um, I don't really like having methods that just get and set. So that's a, it's a warning sign. But it's as good as it was before. OK, so that's all working. Now what I want to do is move the defaults into the user configuration, and that should be pretty easy. And I'm going to go and leave these defaults here, although they're kind of redundant. Let's see. Oops, that was the wrong one. Okay, that should fail. Oh, and I need to... And while I'm in here, I really need to rename this. Okay. So that should fail because I'm not setting up defaults. And of course, I don't want these in here anymore. But I'm just going to move them over for now. Okay. 
All right. So that should work. There we go. Now back here, I can get rid of these. And I can move this back up here. All right. Then the last thing to do is get rid of this. Just going to break a few things. Hopefully not too much. Yep, that was it. At a time like this, I really wish I had a pair partner because uh, I'm making a lot of changes and it's useful having that second pair of eyes looking, uh, you know, just following along with what you're doing and ke keeping an eye out for dumb mistakes. But I think, I think I've done it correctly. We'll do a desk check after I get the saving back in and well, actually let's just do a desk check now. Just make sure everything's working. I'm pretty sure it is. If it isn't, that's really a sign of a flaw somewhere in the tests. That all looks good. Can't test the saving just now because it's all commented out, but we're getting very, very close. So I think this is good. Now we just need to get our tests back in. All right. So, just to make sure, oops, um, just to make sure that this is all working right, I'm going to start out, I'm going to sort of redo these tests because I want to see them fail so that I'm convinced that they're working. So, this should say, should have file after save called, expected foo was null. So, um, there we go. So it should say last save path after save called expected foo was, you know, whatever. And here, that will never be null. We can just return last save path or null if never saved. So perfect. Just pass that on through. Expected foo, but was null. Okay, that was a surprise. Hmm. I, ex I really expected that to work. So why did it not work? We're telling the model... Oh, because the model is not saving. Of course. So yeah, we'll come back to this one. Well, really. That is that is the safe test, isn't it? Save should 
save configuration. Configuration should not be saved. Saved and configuration should be saved to, should be saved. Configuration file. Yeah, I think it's just that simple. And here, it's just a matter of telling it to save itself. It's looking pretty good. Let's make sure we're not actually writing to our disk. Nope, I don't see a foo in there. Run that again. Just do a quick double check. Nope, no foo. Okay, so that just seemed too easy. I mean, <laughs> that's it. That actually finishes it. So, um, yeah, wow. Uh, We don't have this file has ever been saved concept anymore. It's just, we don't need to do any of the spy stuff. Yeah, this is all done. See what I mean about this, this style of this approach, making things simpler. It's, um, it's really that simple. I think. Am I missing anything? Changing start balance should change stock and market. I'm, so I'm testing. If I were to go in here and get rid of this by saying return new invalid dollars, I think my test would break. Well, there. I think my test would break. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm not testing this quite right yet. All right. Let's uh Okay. So that was a little too easy. Um This should be failing. Oh, I see. Well, it's not actually looking at those values. Yeah, you know, this is actually the kind of thing that... Should change model. There. That will catch that. Perfect. I don't know if we even need this. But I'm going to go ahead and get this in. Oh, I just realized I'm out of time. So uh, I think that's working now. Let's run that. Yeah, in the next episode, I'll pick up with the next one. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I will catch you next time.